Using the geometric power series, expand one divided by the quantity one minus x around x sub zero equals two. For what x does the series converge? For a quick review, the geometric power series for f of x equals one divided by the quantity one minus x is the sum from k equals zero to infinity of x to the power of k. Notice this power series is centered at x equals zero. The interval of convergence is the open interval from negative one to positive one, and the radius of convergence is r equals one. Expanding the geometric power series around x sub zero equals two will not change the radius of convergence, but it will change the interval of convergence because the new center will be at x equals two. To find the geometric power series around x sub zero equals two, if f of x is equal to one divided by the quantity one minus x, we need to write this in the form of f of the quantity x minus two. To do this, the first step is to replace x in the denominator with x minus two, but by doing this, notice how we now have minus x plus two. We can't just add two to the denominator, it would change the function, and therefore we need to undo the plus two by also adding negative two in the denominator. If we simplify the denominator, we still have one minus x. Simplifying, we have one divided by the quantity, negative one minus the quantity x minus two. Now we have a problem because the first term in the denominator is negative one, not positive one. And therefore, for the next step, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by negative one. Notice how this is the same as just multiplying by positive one, it doesn't change the function. We'll leave the negative one in the numerator outside the parentheses, and we'll distribute the negative one in the denominator into the denominator inside the parentheses. Negative one times negative one is positive one, which is good. We also want to keep the subtraction here, and therefore we write the next product as minus the product of negative one and the quantity x minus two. Now we have the function in the form where we can perform a substitution for the power series when it's centered at x equals zero. We will replace x with the product of negative one and the quantity x minus two. And of course, we still have a factor of negative one outside the parentheses. This gives us negative one times the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the nth power of the product of negative one and the quantity x minus two. And now let's break up the nth power of the product of negative one and the quantity x minus two into two products. Let's write this as negative one times the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the nth power of negative one times the nth power of x minus two. And now we can bring the negative one into the sum. Negative one times the nth power of negative one gives us the n plus one power of negative one. And therefore the geometric power series around x sub zero equals two is the sum from n equals zero to infinity of the n plus one power of negative one times the nth power of x minus two. And now for the second part, for what x values does a series converge? Again, by centering the geometric power series around x sub zero equals two does not change the radius of convergence, which we know is equal to one, but now we know the center is at x equals two, and therefore the new interval of convergence is the open interval from one to three. The radius of convergence is still r equals one, and again, the power series is centered at x equals two. I hope you found this helpful.